Okay, last week I showed you how to install three essential plugins on your WordPress blog and this week I just wanted to cover a couple more which are extremely useful for uh, a number of reasons. So this, this is the it's very basic um, WordPress site. Uh, it, uh, let's go, go into the dashboard and you'll see there are four plugins. Three of them are the ones that are the essentials plus the really simple capture adds functionality to con contact form 7. Uh, you can um, you, you can see the, uh, the the video on the website uh, if you haven't already seen it. So uh, this week I wanted to um, add a couple of plugins, and one of them is the Yoast SEO plugin. So search for that, and here we are. WordPress. SEO by Yoast is what it's properly called. I am certainly sure I want to install it. Click the activate plugin and here we are. I'll say allow tracking. It help. It's a free plugin so we'll uh, allow them to uh, track usage so that they can actually improve the, the product. I think that's fair. Right, you'll notice that uh, there's a uh, there's an additional menu here on the left hand side and uh, a, I don't I'm gonna say no if you want to subscribe to their newsletter do to do but um, it's not not necessary but the uh, couple of things here you, you can use it fairly much um, as it is out of the box uh, tracking we've already agreed to that security disabled the advanced part of the WordPress SEO meta box. Now, if you've got multiple authors, then you may want to do that because it allows you to redirect pages to uh, other websites completely if if you want. But I'm going to dis I'm going to uh, uncheck that box because I do want to be able to um, do that. I'm not going to bother with the web web Webmaster tools. Um, uh, if you need to get the site verified then it allows you to do that because basically for example Google Webmaster Tools you need to uh, enter uh, an identifying code in there uh, once you've put it in here it'll display it in the header of your website invisibly and Google will be able to, to verify your website it, it, that's all it does you don't need to do that uh, at the moment Okay, titles and metas. I'm I'm not going to um, do anything with this. Uh, sometimes I found that you need to force rewrite titles. Um, I'm not even going to explain that. And uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too too much about anything there. Uh, social. Here we go here. Um, basically, if you uh, in, if you insert your, uh, pay, your your Facebook page, Twitter ID, and Google, then the Open Graph data gets inserted in, in the header. Um, you know, it's you, you you don't really need to to bother with that probably because um, if you add any plugins that um, add social functionality, then they will uh, probably uh, add that add that information anyway. But uh, okay. Next thing, XML sitemap. Yes, you definitely want to have the XML sitemap map functionality. That's very useful. Uh, you may want to exclude media. Because that, that's uh, the attachments like photos and videos that are that are in, in your pages and entries per page. No, I don't think I changed anything, but never mind. Okay, next thing I'm going to say is permalinks. Right, 
two things here strip the category base if you go and look at a category in WordPress it will be for example davidlee.net slash category slash category name uh, if you want that URL to be simply davidlee.net slash category name and you check that box uh, the the uh, the actual uh, category base is is unnecessary but um, there you go and the other thing I'm going I'm going to uncheck this stop uh, remove stop word, words from slugs if you say you, say you had um, a post called let's see flights to Barcelona um, the, it would re, it would regard two as a stop word and so the the slug or the 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 uh, URL of the uh, of the post would be flights Barcelona and I don't want that. Okay, and again, save changes. Okay, uh, that's that's all that I'm actually going to uh, do with that. But what what we really want to do is get into using using this. So add a new post. Okay, well we'll do something now. Um, what about if I do installing um, what's it called? WordPress SEO by Yoast. Okay, and right, we go down here. That there's an additional box added to the to to, to the um the 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 add new post page and you'll see it it, dis, it displays the um it, it it displays down here the uh the title that you've put in here and if i say my focus keyword i want to be wordpress seo oops and it comes up with some some suggestions, but I'll just stick with WordPress SEO. And you will see that the page title it now gets a green yes and a, a point for that. And if I if I save this, the page URL also has it. Now, if I uh, if I this is going to include a video of how to install Word, WordPress SEO by Yoast. Okay, and I'll, let me save that again. And here you'll see I've got a, another another green for, for content so so basically it's just doing a, a, a simple check uh, to, to make sure that uh, the, the focus keyword is included in various uh, various areas of the page both uh, both displayed and and hidden and uh, if I wanted to um, write the meta description which is the snippet that appears in, in Google let's say um, what Watch this video of how to install WordPress SEO by Yoast. Okay, and also the SEO, SEO title install uh, install SEO. No, what's it called? WordPress SEO. WordPress SEO. Yoast. I'll say video. Okay, and as you can see now, oh, it hasn't it hasn't got the video bit. Uh, 
snippet pretty. So yeah, so this is this is how it should uh, appear in uh, in Google. So. Uh, or th this is how it should. Be. This up here is how it will appear in Google. This will be the uh, title as it appears on the tab. Okay, so I've got all greens there, so which is pretty good. Okay, and then page analysis. Um, basically, it gives you. It, it, Basically, you can go down this and find out what you're doing well and what you're doing bad. There are 15 words contained in the body copy. This is far too low. Okay, no images. So, so basically, you go through that and you can improve the uh, you can improve the content as best you can. You don't need to get it perfect, and probably you shouldn't get it perfect. But um, you know, it, it just gives you reminders of what you need to do, uh, what Google is probably looking for to to rank your content higher than anybody else's so um, it's just a, it's a useful checklist to go through and in this advanced section this is the bit that um, is removed for some people if um, or removed for all people if, if you don't want it showing for everybody uh, it just allows you to do various things such as a 301 redirect um, on the whole, you don't need to. You don't really need to uh, bother with that. And here in social, I, I never use this at all. But um, if you want a different Facebook title to the default, then you can change that, and you can also change the description. Okay. So you know, it, it's nice and easy to use. Um, it gives me a. It says my my SEO is poor. And if I if, 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 if the check. Yeah, it just just what, what have I got right? You've never used this focus keyword before. Good meta is good. The keyword is in the first paragraph. Yes, but you know there's plenty there's plenty wrong that or plenty that it believes is uh, wrong. So um, that that that's that. And if you can get a green there, all the best. You don't want a red, that's for sure. But um, if you can get it towards green, then you're doing well. Okay, and the other uh, thing that I wanted was uh, another plugin by Yoast. It's uh, just Google Analytics. Oops, by Yoast. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. Google Analytics by Yoast. Install now. Okay, and activate the plugin. And again, you get an additional um, menu item here. Oops, no, I just pressed the wrong button. Um, here, analytics. Okay. We need you to authenticate with Google Analytics to use this functionality. If you set your yeah, this one, okay. So basically, um, you need to be logged into your Analytics profile. Uh, I don't want to show all the websites I've got in mine. Uh, so depending on how it goes, I may um, stop this video. And it's self-explanatory. So um, here I go. I may disappear though. Okay. Authenticate with your Google account. This is the bit that may disappear. And it says, "Yeah, we'd like to please, please copy this code, switch to your application, and paste it there." Okay, and select a profile. Okay, and. 
again it's going to just it's going to show all my websites which I, I don't particularly want to show but uh, let me uh, cut that out okay well um, I'm uh, I'm not going I'm not going to go into into the uh, actual selecting website to get to uh, an account to for this to go with but um, a few things that are useful to know ignore users right okay users of the role you select will be ignored so if you select editor all editors will be ignored okay I also want administrator basically this means that if you visit your own website and you are logged into into your WordPress installation it won't uh, measure you as a visit which is quite useful to have so uh, editor and administrator done uh, that's it you know the the there are other options here universal and advanced I'm not going to get into those uh, you don't re you don't really need to but this is a, a fantastic and very very simple um, plugin to use um, and Although there are there are other ways of, of getting your, your Google Analytics data, uh, this is the one that I use by default, as well as the um, the WordPress SEO plugin from Yoast as well. Okay, well that is it for now. I hope you found it useful, and if you have any questions, go across to my website and shoot me an email via the contact form. I will speak to you soon.